liquid. That was absolutely beautiful. Sven's forced to flash, but he's still. Yeah, that is that is a, a true tragedy. A true tragedy. It's like Darth Plagueis the Wise. I mean, it's really one of the worst. Now Impact about to get a one v two. Yeah, gets away from the stun and looks like yeah, charge. And yeah, Impact's taking some damage here to this one. I don't think he can get away with this. He's gonna fight a little bit with the shield on. He's buying some time. He's doing really well good with that, but his health bar is still running low. Gets actually. Oh, get oh you're kidding me! Impact. <laughs> actually gets the, the kill, and he's not alive. dying! Are you freaking kidding me, Impact? Still staying alive! No. Rakan shows up, gives him the heart, and that is ridiculous! The flash is easily answered by Pobelter. I like the no hesitation from Pobelter going into tower range. Even though he takes three tower shots to start this play out, they've got the extra man coming too with Impact, the Scion. Oh, it on down, and that, then Ole so clutch. snags him with the ultimate. Doesn't even try for you know the risky binding. Just hits him. Yeah, it could be a very fast one. Knocked down as one of those inner turrets. Speaking of fast, Videos turns Ryu. on the predator. Ryu swoops in from the side, and Xfinity, remember, has no flash to speak of. Taken very low. Knocked right back in as Pobelter comes over the Ryu wall, and now it might be Liquid who's found a hundred oh. feet. But Poe Belter by himself. TP going to be used here. Somebody trying to have 100 up. thieves trying to come in and help. Oh, no, he play close. He goes down. It's going to be Nexus to run down. Oh, Drake down. Flyquest still oh, in the mid. Sound strikes are going to be used. Flyquest and the Nexus thieves oh, in the Nexus. Oh, it is point for point. Flyquest yes. win. Holy hell. What a base raid. <laughs> Helps. Oh, oh boy. boy. Saying, UTP in the wrong neighborhood. Crowd. Five minutes in. FlyQuest say we need to continue to activate this advantage. And it's going to be tanks for Flame. He gets out safely. Santorin now heating up the turret down to 100 feet. Impact left and right. What a what? dance off. A oh, god. Those are the re engage the 5v4 and a Cloud9 walking backwards, afraid of what the Kaisa can do. Double to the front line, staying safe. Now with the kick. Yeah. They found him in the back line. But Devil of Knocks down one. He'll be traded though. This could be the fight. Impact is going to be burnt down. But watch out for the zombie. He can find a trade kill, get Sazel, and get knocked in the mini wave as well. You said they needed a miracle, and that kick might have been it. Flash on Cinder is a pretty big deal. Like, he's going to need to play pretty safe. It's a breaking point. He oh. actually successfully taunted a team in a professional League of Legends match to chase them into the turret. <laughs> like, they're, they're so tilted after this. They're yeah, but, but that's, that's the tilt manifesting itself, but I think the seed was planted in that mid play because... Here it is, the replay. Oh, it's like... Oh. Uh, he didn't even, I, like, I, I, I like, 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 like Cooney goes from the mix up too. He's like, I'm not gonna do it. Works, uh, an easily farmed out lane, whereas Rask here is gonna be much more effective in this difficult matchup. But here comes Lyra from behind. Bottom side, it's Keith who's gonna be jumped on to start this fight off. Vulcan's able to initiate things, but he's taken down instantly. Now Cloud9 might be able to take this into a two, three. three. They got the damage coming down. Heels popping off. There comes more damage down now onto Lyra. Gonna be able to take him out too. A double kill over to Keith. It's three bodies on the floor. And Cloud9 right. Well, this team is now 3,000. Gold ahead, and it's letting them make plays like these. Yep, in they go. TSM getting very aggressive. Nice early chunk on the double lift, and now watch where Bjergsen throws the bomb. He waits and throws it to where double lift has to flash to try to get out. That is 100% the predictive bomb. Beautiful by Bjergsen, and double lift a second or two away from the heel. My TSM's fight as Broken Blade joins. Yeah, he flanks in here with Vladimir, splits the whole team up. A bunch of flashes used there trying to escape. Niski. Gets back over the wall, second part of his ultimate, has the paddle star, and then he's able to go in, finds that flash on the corner of the wall, gets back out. Woo! That's a tilter. Everyone able to jump that. in like that and hit the damage. Yeah. Uh, and that was actually a pretty easy shock blast to land. <laughs> yep, QE from basically half, range. half distance, so uh, <laughs> actually pretty easy to land that one. And then he just jumps right on double of AD carry next to him, so. Big damage into Kumo. Okay, gets in the melee range for the one, puts him back into the turret, impact and a chase. Can't find the knockup. Kumo, one more turret shot. Oh, he's got the solo kill. Kumo! All right, that one was. Let's watch this one more time. X Smithy slightly ahead of Mike Young. Uh, they get a bunch of damage on a solo, and watch this. Mike is going to go in for an EQ, but nope. It's so fast, right? Uh, interrupting the EQ with the baby knockup from the pillar. And by the way, Jensen's here now, so he kills him.
<laughs> it's the ball in the replay. Yeah, this, played. Is, this must be something we missed the entire time. Okay, okay. Cannon Minion. Uh, we got some we got some sick farming going on right now. Okay. Yeah. Impact's going in. Frenzy. Aftershock is proc. It's Thunder Roar. Thunderous Roar versus Thunderous Roar. Broken Blade trying to turn around. <laughs> Impact still looking to grab the damage. There's the the Frenzy. Renegade looks towards Lyra. Hooney! That's low HP. Hooney on the wing. Demonte on the sides as well. And Hooney's gonna push back Bjergsen. But now Broken Blade has to run from the rest of the squad. Still slowed down, trying to run out. But only at 1,000 HP does make his way out of this one. Bjergsen oh. burning the rest of the ultimate. But now Demonte wants into this one. The Shroud pushed them back into the squad. And that's oh. the alley oop they needed. So what a pickup. Demonte sees Bjergsen. Oh. Yeah, they want definitely a turret when they can. Or a possible kill falling into their hands due to an error here. Golden Blue, not getting enough damage Got the root. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Golden Blue! Low just... has to start backing off his cast and plaster down. Licorice not getting the Narbar just yet. Ryle Frost falls, and in the front, Rainover is very low. The continuing shots, what a oh, shot wave oh, coming in from Hoogie. Could turn the fight. Rainover and the rest of the team are able to just suffocate. Cloud9, Licorice is forced out of the paint. Here, Ole gonna have things turned right back around. That's what you were talking about, Kobe. You can't make oh! these plays like that. Now they're turning right back around onto a Smithy, and Liquid bit off way more than they can chew. Oh, yeah, I hate to see that. Three members gank bottom lane. The middle's oh. next. Much harder to take. Funneling onto the stairs. Who he steps out. Oh, Labber went in. Uh, Labber a little too far forward. He has his flash to get out of his gonna be crazy after lands the spike. In goes Zazel. The fight on the other side of the map. Licorice and Darshan going head to head as Rainover. Not feeling good about this one. Oh. There goes Darshan. Rainover's on the stopwatch as Biofrost cannot help. They've already dropped Kuki and people. And now Echo Fox have to try to get themselves away. Optic fight an incredible punish. Dardock resurrects himself in the pit. Over the wall goes Smoothie, but Arrow chases after him. Axe is juggling, and Smoothie is going home in a body bag as Arrow just waits for the golden stack to hit. Dance around, spin the axe, and Smoothie will still continue to walk away. And he gets out! He gets out! But they're just gonna end the game here! Quite well. He's sticking around. He wants to get him with this side of the rush. One dark he blade. Kill him the here. Chain comes out, throws down the wall. Oh! Kill on Odie, but he gets stopped up! One more dark and blade to come in, but he gets it the Umbral Dash! Fight in open ground. There's no turret here that's going to give Echo Fox an advantage. They are gonna start the fight off nicely with some damage on Dezazel. Solo gets himself back. Tears Phoenix down and inhibitor down. Wow, nine. So this continues pushing further in. Solo starting One things Phoenix off. Goes into the gargoyle stone play. Both are gonna be stuck there. Phoenix keeping himself in the stasis. Make sure he stays alive. Siskarin's booted up. The damage continuing to come down. Licorice getting himself away. But Sneaky is a machine. And he's able to find a double. Zazel allows the push to continue. As a follow the fall into triple for Sneaky. They might find even more. He needs another auto attack. And the Quadra is found. The heal is popped. And Sneaky will look to chase him down. Hakuo escapes and denies the pentacle. Oh, boy. But will Cloud9 go on? Everyone in. Get back. Will Cloud9 be the Start on the damage here. Of course, they take the Smithy into the pit and they started up the dragon. This is Golden Garden's maybe last attempt to try to save this game. You can't give this one away. You've got to make some sort of a fight happen here. Haunts are going to be taken very low. The death is already gone. Like death, he's already gone. Devil is already on a killing spree. And Golden Guardians lost the fight before it ever started. Jensen gets himself back over the wall with some quick feet. And Ole and Frog and head for the hills. Who needs Elder when the base is wide open like this? Oh. Double and Try to back off, but will still be a tough fight to take for Golden Guardians as Frog gets chunked out. They don't have the cooldowns. Woo! Belter continuing to press forward on this Zoe, continuing to land bubble after bubble. It's nap time at the Golden Guardians house. My as God. He just chases everyone down. Look at the move speed on this man. Wow. Point blank paddle star. Quick, quick, boom! Belter is. gets flashed as well. Both jugglers on the bottom side, though. Yep. Three on three, there's the first time. A lot of CC, they chained it together! And Core JJ is down. Now the re-engage towards Smoothie, does not have flash. 
not much by some time. They knock him down. Fork and ult. Forking away with that one. TP's canceled now. That's the runaway for speed. They're gonna find the first stun. In comes Acadian. The rest of the squad looking for the damage up, but it's close, but they do get the first kill. Now Acadian in right. Yelling well, team fighting well. We'll watch it from his point of view. Well, the problem is it's a Sunday and you're playing Rush. <laughs> uh, but seriously, this is just such a good job. So many of the engages that Team Liquid had tried in the last five, ten minutes of the game were completely thwarted. And this was another attempt on the solo, the only like huge threat on Echo Fox's team. And they don't get him. And you have to remember that at this point, Really good patience from Sunscare to wait out the heroic presence. They're now trying to go for this Rift Herald. Three members up here, but there is a TP coming in. Broken Blade has arrived. We're not done yet. Bjergsen trying to take this fight a little bit further. Niski and Sunscare are both at half HP. It's a numbers advantage for Cloud9. They'll look to turn things back around, but Niski's going to be exploded. Bjergsen gets himself away, but Sneaky's made his way into the fight. Quick now looking to find the stun, able to grab one down. Now Sunscare having to get himself away. Can't do it. And TSM will grab three. He reeled in a big one, and Lickerich is taking a watery grave. Closer to this IE on Yasuo. I think they probably want to wait for this, but it looks like there's going to be a fight. Nope, we got ourselves a fight, and that's going to be a big pull coming out from Griglin. The Zavu is still somehow going to be kept alive, getting himself away. Since Gary going to be fighting Bjergsen off the side. Griglin going to be killed now by Cloud9. Lickerich is taken very low into the back line. He goes. Not quite able to find the damage onto Sven, who goes with a killing spree, killing that enemy top laner. Sven scaring into the hourglass. Not going to be kept alive too much longer, except he will. It's a kill for Broken Blade on the Zavu. Hear this is one more time. So watch the health on contracts. Contracts getting lower and lower, and then just waiting for the cooldowns. The Q alt flash straight in on the contracts, and he just gets erased. Viper. And that death on their jungler means CSM likely will take the Baron here, though. Cloud9 is moving over. They want to look to fight here. Sneaky healed up off the Grom. Zazel nearly getting one tap by the Varus. Niski's in some trouble. That's going to be Varus secure beside a DS. Sneaky's damage is monstrous, but Broken Blade's able to shut him down. The follow-up damage is there from Niski, and Smoothie will gobble up his teammate over the wall as Kubo shot to go unstoppable. They can end the game here. They're going to TP for it. It's just the KD in 1v2 again. Hoping they can find some way safely into Baron control. Okay, yeah, you're kind of wondering how is Hunter Thieves going to find a fight. They're trying with the Sivir and Aatrox all through right now to get Niski. They're going to try for him right there. Bank a flash away. Not going to be hit by this one, but oh. a big stun given across. Means the reason that after moves, days are numbered. Fisker finds that first kill. Ken over the top finds two more stuns. In comes Ryu, trying to build some space, but Zazel has the second kill already. Amazing's going to drop for the third. It's four kills, and only Bang is left alive. The rest of the squad, though, already dead. And you thought you caught Niski, but instead it's four to one. Niski with has to be a bit respectful as Tom Kench. Tom Kench coming over. Knock him down. This is a four versus three right now. TV's coming in for a bit more. Nice stun on a Vulcan. Here comes Lyra now as well. Four versus four. As the rest of the squad comes in, it's actually all at TSM, but a good equalizer buys some space. Bravo builds a lot as well. Oh, they're getting and they're in the front line. They are burning down. Look at the team fight. Bjergsen's gone as oh well. Oh, my God. And Go off a minion and double, he could have Meganard everyone into the wall. But even though he didn't, every flash on people that escaped was burned. And they want Phoenix in this turret. Oh boy. He's pretty strong though. What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh, oh he got two! He's Phoenix. gonna get a triple Phoenix. kill! A quadra kill! An amazing wow. play by Phoenix on his ear! The legacy of Shereem! Not active yet. They have minions crushing in in the mid lane. They don't want to give up this triple and hit. That Dodok finds the stun. Looks objective. Objective actually popping the stun through. Was able to get everybody out. Ben takes down Hooney in an instant. And now Dodok's going to be left for dead. Smoothie hops over. There's the Vanguard set. TSM rushing in there. Ben with a double. Ben with a triple kill. Ben with a quadra kill. TSM in game number one will tip their kites up. The Penta kill. That's that's it. Classic. As soon as the jungler comes, you're like, I can do this. Okay, so here it is. They go in onto Jensen, flash out of the cocoon, beautiful stuff, and he knows Smithy is in trouble, saves the ulti, times it perfectly, and who he has to get out as well, or he would have been going down. Go. Pops the ulti, rush comes in, oh! He takes down Afro Moo. Balls can't touch, rockets one for one, but now Rush is in danger, hides under his turret. Thanks for the fight, Stone. Comes away. The blunt, though. 
Jensen dodges, and there's not any mana on Stick. Say he pops the heel, and there's the re-engage. Jensen with the mechanical outplay, and now oh he's on the hootie. Oh!